Otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll get started. Uh, today is August 28th. So, what are you doing? Are you saying? Are you? Today is August 28th, or uh, I think that's a good news that you have given to me. And you told me that you got the visa recently as a work permit and with you and your spouse, correct? Yes, sir. Just a week back. Just a week back. That's a great news, actually, because right now, as I can see the trend uh, at present in the month of August and July and preceding few months, uh, all those work permit cases and study visa cases were struggling and the people were having a hard time getting. So yours is a very uh, great uh, silver lining and I'm uh, greatly uh, uh, appreciative of the work that you have done. And, uh, you know, t tell me, tell me briefly what what is your background and how did you how did you apply on your own? OK, um, so the, fir the first point is uh, uh, regarding my background. I am a dentist by profession and uh, I graduated from an from an Indian dental school. I I completed my master's back in India, and then um, after my master's, I worked uh, for about three years at an Indian dental institution, and then I got an opportunity uh, at this uh, Malaysian institute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is my is my voice audible, sir? Very good. Your voice is loud and clear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so uh, once uh, I got an opportunity here and I've, and I've been working here since five years. Yeah. Uh, and last year, my shadi hui thi, sir. And uh, my wife is also, uh, incidentally, she's also my colleague here at the same faculty. So last year, shadi hua, then you know that COVID ka lockdown was in India. So we, 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 we were sort of stranded back in India. We couldn't enter Malaysia because of the lockdowns. Yeah, yeah. Then kya hua? La, this year, uh, Feb, mein, uh, somehow luckily I got, an, I got the approval from the Malaysian immigration to enter. Unfortunately, my uh, wife, ka, uh, because her work permit expired, she could not enter. So I had to leave uh, India and then I entered Malaysia. And uh, since uh, Feb, hum log, uh, we've been staying away. She's in India and, and I'm working. I mean, obviously she's working remotely and I'm working in this, uh, in my place. I mean, I'm physically present. So, uh, this year, uh, May, in uh, Canada, in a reputed university, I got a PhD admission, mila, sir, PhD dentistry. So, from... Uh, May se preparation start away. Actually, uh, to be very frank, to be very honest with you, um, la end of last year, se mein, I was I was following your videos and also a few videos from other uh, you know other sub uh, YouTube channels yeah. about ye visa ka kya hai, kaisa chalta hai, what is the checker things things like that. So I was following from probably I would say late 2020 or early 2021. And then by, by listening to your videos and others, I could learn a lot of information as to how we have to present our documents. Yeah. How we have to present documents in each category. Ke andar. Not yeah. only that, I went to, I, uh, I browsed IRCC's website thoroughly uh, about student permit ka criteria, kya hai, how do they evaluate student permits? And then uh, if, if you're getting your spouse along, how do they evaluate those? So, wo bhi dekha maine. Wo dekha hai. In complimentary, I also saw your videos and so many other, uh, you know, subs subs subscriptions on um, and YouTube. And then I had, I would say, by May or June, I had a pretty comprehensive idea as to what exactly needs to be done. And then, uh, I think somewhere in June, bhi, uh, somewhere in June 2021, I had a consultation with you. Uh, I mean, of course, you remember that uh, we had a very short call about 20, 30 minutes. So whatever I mean, uh, whatever we discussed, you said whatever documents that I have, you said that it was it was very good enough for me to go ahead with the application. So that's the the story in short. I have I will ask you some questions here. Uh, just to summarize, both of you are doctors, both of you are dentists, husband, wife. 
and uh, you are you are working in Malaysia. She is also working uh, remotely for the same employer where you are. I think uh, yes. you you got admission in a, into PhD program into Canada, which is very unique. I always have said that uh, PhD wale achhe hote hain. PhD walon ko visa uh, ka chance achha hai, or it's a, it's a bright uh, future for them. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people in India they ignore PhD. वो कहते हैं क्या करेंगे PhD करके इतना लंबा खर्चा होगा इतना time लगेगा What's the point? I mean forget about PhD. लेकिन आप होशियार हो आपने PhD का admission भी आपको मिल गया और आपने काफी research भी करी है including my videos and other other others on the on the net. My question is कि आपको तो इतनी knowledge आप इतने पढ़े लिखे हो आप खुद doctor हो आपको ऐसी कौन सी कंफ्यूजन थी जिससे कि यू कॉन्टेक्टेड मी इन जून एंड यू पेड मनी टू टॉक टू मी यस सर फॉर द फर्स्ट थिंग इज आई आई एक्सेप्ट दैट अबाउट 80 टू 90 परसेंट थिंग्स आई 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 हैड अ रीजनेबली गुड नॉलेज बट यस इवन यू गाइस आर लॉयर्स यू गाइस आर इमिग्रेशन लॉयर्स यू अंडरस्टैंड द सिस्टम वेल यू अंडरस्टैंड द फाइनल डिटेल्स सो it's uh, it's it's uh, it's never a mistake to have a casual chat with you guys i mean with with immigration lawyers because they can guide you on certain uh, aspects which you don't even uh, which you which you are not even aware of yeah aap jitna bhi aap website dekh lo aap youtube videos dekh lo but yeah. it's always uh, good to have uh, a casual chat with an immigration lawyer to see where you stand तो मेरे पास डाउट्स था कि आई वाज बेसिकली माय मेजर कंसर्न वाज टाइज टू होम कंट्री बिकॉज मैं आई एम ऑलरेडी आउटसाइड इंडिया द टाइज टू होम कंट्री इज अ लिटिल शेकी ऑन माय ऑन माय बेसिस स्पेशली ऑन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू माय एप्लीकेशन तो मैं जब मैंने आपसे वो वो स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन पूछा कि सर uh, मैं इंडिया से ऑलरेडी आई एम आउटसाइड सो माई टाइज टू इंडिया इज ऑलरेडी वीकेंड so how yeah. will i convince uh, the immigration officer that i will return back to india after completion of my studies to aapne uh, you sort of you had a different view point on it you said there's nothing much to worry about it it's it's basically for uh, for uh, a few unfortunate people who are not educated i, I would not i'm i'm not putting them down they are little unfortunate in terms of education jo bhi hai so yeah. people who don't have proper degrees who don't have enough skill sets उनके ऊपर फोकस ज्यादा रहता है कि वंस दे द इमिग्रेशन ऑफिसर्स डू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वंस दे लैंड इन कनाडा आई मीन व्हेन दे टेक अप अ स्टडी रूट इट इज अ पाथ टू इमिग्रेशन दे वेरी वेल अंडरस्टैंड दैट तो उनके लिए व्हेन व्हेन दे अप्लाई फॉर फॉर अ स्टडी परमिट द द फोकस ऑन दोस एप्लीकेशंस इज मच हायर देन मी ऑफ कोर्स दे दे वुड दे विल दे वुड हैव स्क्रूटिनाइज माय केस इज वेल नो डाउट नाउ नो डाउट अबाउट दैट बट I would say the level of assessment or level of scrutiny on those papers would be much higher. That is what you made me understand. कि कोई बंदा uneducated है, उसको India में कोई job नहीं है, he doesn't have uh, you know uh, enough uh, enough things to do, he doesn't have a proper education. Then he's more likely to stay back in Canada than a person who's well educated, who has a master's degree, who's got some skill sets. So that's the point that you uh, sort of you made me understand in one of the in the videos i mean when i had a consult with you sometime back isko isko main thoda sa aur detail kar dun if you i would like to take this opportunity to uh, give some more substance to my answer a lot of people just like you asked me uh, ke how do i show ties to the country to your homeland or or where the way you're living or iska main ek uh, दोबारा से मैं आंसर दे दूं जिससे कि और भी लोग जो सुनेंगे इसको उसको भी एक बेनिफिट मिल जाए आ, होता क्या है कि यू आर अ इंडियन नेशनल यू हैव अ इंडियन पासपोर्ट बट यू आर वर्किंग आउटसाइड योर कंट्री ऑफ नेशनैलिटी सो यू आर वर्किंग इन कंट्री ए इन मलेशिया तो एज अ वीजा ऑफिसर दे आर ऑलवेज लुकिंग एट वट वट आर योर टाइज टू कंट्री ऑफ रेसिडेंस इट इज कॉल्ड सी ओ आर ठीक है अगर तो आप इंडिया में काम कर रहे होते इंडिया में नौकरी कर रहे होते इंडिया में कोई बिजनेस कर रहे होते तब तो है कि कंट्री ऑफ योर नेशनैलिटी ये ये प्रॉब्लम दुबई में भी आती है दुबई में भी बहुत सारे लोग काम करते हैं मतलब मिडिल ईस्ट में काम करते हैं जैसे आप मलेशिया में काम कर रहे हो तो योर एप्लीकेशन वोट मोस्ट लाइकली बी लुकड एट 
uh, from factors based on outside India, which is like Malaysia. Yeah, agar Malaysia mein wahan par Canadian uh, High Commission sa Singapore mein wahan wale dekhenge. Uh, aapka jo approval letter aaya hai, usme likha hai Singapore ka address likha hai, Ottawa ka likha hai. Uh, actually, very interesting, sir. Uh, uh, you would uh, be a little surprised that uh, they have given me an approval even without biometrics. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. I see this all the time. But I just want need to know. Okay, what's the address? There, mm -hmm. there is uh, no address mentioned, sir. They just they gave, uh, a link was uh, pasted on the word document. They said you have to contact the nearest uh, visa application center. But because the visa application center in Kuala Lumpur is closed. I have contacted the, the visa application center in Singapore and they are processing my papers right now. Most likely, most likely, most likely, I, I may be wrong sometimes, most likely the, the decision was uh, adjudicated by a, a visa officer sitting in Singapore. All right? Most likely. Chalo, yes, yes. Sometimes, sometimes yes. I'm wrong. But uh, coming back to my answer, so if you are Indian national, ho, or if you are Malaysia, mein kaam kar rahe ho, to, uh, how do I prove what are my ties to Malaysia? So there are two ways, strong ways. These are strong ways, not, not exhaustive, but the, I have two strong ways. One is, what Malaysia I doing in Malaysia? If I'm doing a job appointment letter, which is a job description letter, I need your job description letter. The second is, I need your salary slips, which is your proof of income salary. तीसरा अगर तो वो सैलरीज ऑनलाइन डिपॉजिट होके बैंक अकाउंट में जाती है तो बैंक अकाउंट का स्टेटमेंट चाहिए जिसमें कि हम शो करते हैं कि भी मतलब मनी आ रही है और चौथा एज एज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ द डिपॉजिट ऑफ द सैलरी उसमें बैंक अकाउंट में हमारे पास पैसे होंगे दैट मींस मनी आ रही है सो आई विल हैव सम काइंड ऑफ डिपॉजिट लाइक अ कैश डिपॉजिट नॉट एफडी नॉट सम पीएफ बट द कैश सेविंग्स डिपॉजिट सो अगर मेरे पास जॉब लेटर है और मेरे पास सैलरी स्लिप्स हैं और बैंक में शो कर रहा है डेट इज इनफ टाइज टू द कंट्री ऑफ रेजिडेंस लेट जस्ट रिपीट वन मोर टाइम कई बार लोग सोचते हैं कि हमारी टाइज क्या है इंडिया इंडिया से तो हम बाहर निकले था और कई लोग का ये सोचना है कि अरे मैं तो मलेशिया में काम कर रहा हूँ या दुबई में काम कर रहा हूँ मैं इंडिया में मेरी प्रॉपर्टी है मेरे जी फार्म लैंड है मेरे खेत हैं मेरे जी फादर के पास ये लैंड है फलाना लैंड है मेरे पास दस करोड़ है फलाना आई ऑलवेज टेल दम दिस इज हैज नो वेलिवेंस to to the to our visa uh, assessment team agar aap bahar kaam kar rahe ho at least ek saal do saal se kaam kar rahe ho we are more interested to find out what are, are your uh, earning you know your salary earnings and your job employment status and your money that you are generating from there that is all all we care about we we don't care about how much property you have lot of lot of people are wasting money on charter accounts this is unnecessary we don't care about how much FD that you have saved in India. We don't care about uh, any kind of, uh, you know, um, provident fund or, or any kind of mutual funds or, or investments that you have, you are secretly saving in India. We don't care about those things. Just two things. Malaysia mein aapka job letter, aapki salary slip, or proof ke bank account mein jodh raha bank account mein paise aare hai. Typically, how much money? That depends on your uh, job income and your family size and those things. So that is my comprehensive answer to the question on okay, what are the ties to the country of residence. So that's okay. We sorted this out. So that was your one confusion. Or consi confusion. The after itne padhe likhe ho, aapke paas confusion kaise hoga? Agar aapke paas itne dewan mein confusion the, to baaki logon ke paas kitni confusion ho sakti hai? Uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, sir. It's 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 not about uh, you know being educated, but as as I've stated earlier. Uh, immigration law is very alien to all of us. I mean, uh, outside, uh, outside, uh, you know, that profession. So I would say my uh, my uh, humble suggestion would be, yes, uh, future application uh, applicants can research. They can find out uh, answers to all the questions that they have. But if they if they are uh, if they have if they have any such doubts, any such queries, uh, they must consult an immigration lawyer at least take a short consult maybe 15 20 minutes half an hour and then clear your doubts because that helps because kya hota hai na, sir, uh, most of the times uh, we might end up doing some uh, mistake or some errors which may cost us very very uh, dearly later on so i did not want to fall into that category 
after especially after having worked so hard so i wanted to talk to an expert who would uh, divulge information because obviously they know uh, much better uh, sir even if i sit and research for 10 odd years i don't think i can match uh, uh, up to your standards that's impossible right so instead up uh, instead of committing an error on your application it's always fine it's okay if you can sp uh, spare a few hundred dollars talk to a, an expert get your doubts cleared out it's it's any day better rather than being sorry later on you are you are you are my ideal client actually of course i have to make money and this is a profession and we just like a dentist uh, will do a cleaning and scaling and then actually do a root canal and stuff you know that's how dentists will make money but uh, just like you know i know i i take this example of a dentist all the time if i have to do a root canal or mera root canal hua tha pichle saal so i i make an appointment with the dentist and i tell the dentist look i know you will do the root canal but allow me 30 minutes so that i i want to learn everything about rct from you so i want to ask you what is enamel what is dentine you know how does the decay goes inside what will you do how much will you drill inside and what will you fill in what is the filling like how long will the filling last and you know those things so i need to ask those questions which you assume that you know of course the dentist knows but the patients are not bothered to know so it's always my nature to ask questions and i appreciate you asking questions about something that you did not know or did not have experience aur mere ko badi khushi hai ki aapke jo jo aapne paise diye aur usse aapko ek confidence mila aur i think some of your doubts even if it gives you some some positive energy in even though you have done a lot of work on your own but uh, you know i i always uh, had uh, uh, positive feeling about your application ki aapki application ho jayegi aur aapko yaad hoga ki aap aapko maine pehle keh diya tha ki aap घबराओ नहीं आई थिंक यू आर इन गुड शेप और आपका हो जाएगा और नहीं हियर हियर यू आर एंड प्रेडी मच यू आर गुड टू गो एक चीज मैं आपको दिखाना चाहता हूं शायद आपको स्क्रीन पे अगर आप कंप्यूटर पे हो कि फोन पे हो कंप्यूटर सर मैं लैपटॉप मैं आपको एक चीज दिखाना चाहता हूं शायद आप देख सको मेरे को बताना कि आप देख रहे हो कि नहीं देख रहे हो स्क्रीन पे कुछ नजर आ रहा है अह आ रहा कुछ Yes, I am sir. क्या लिखा ऊपर? It's uh, oh, sir, Ontario PhD graduate stream. मैं आपका privacy के कारण मैं आपका नाम नहीं लेना चाहता कि कौन से university में आप जा रहे हो पर ये पक्का है कि आप Ontario में जा रहे हो correct? नहीं sir, Ontario में नहीं sir. कहाँ जा रहे हो भाई? Oh sorry, sorry, I did not. कहाँ जा रहे हो आप? Quebec sir. Oh अच्छा अच्छा Quebec. तो फिर ये नहीं है. बाकी चलो. अब मैंने आपको मैं आपको दिखाई देता हूँ कि ओंटारियो में पीएचडी जो लोग करते हैं और उनके लिए एक अलग से एक इमिग्रेशन प्रोग्राम खुला हुआ है और इट्स प्रेडी मच पीएनपी प्रोग्राम फॉर पीएचडी पीपल सो आई आई सॉरी आई आई था नो प्रॉब्लम सर पर फिर भी आपका जो आपको प्रॉब्लम नहीं होने वाली पीआर लेने के लिए जब भी आपका टाइम आएगा तो आई एम आई एम प्रेडी सर्टेन बेस्ड ऑन your degree um, and eventually you will have time to uh, study up and and qualify for licensure uh, as a as a specialist position or uh, eventually aapko job to mil jayegi job milegi to aage usko lekar aap there are a lot of even in quebec with on the basis of job also in in uh, federal express entry in cg class mark up your program there is there's absolutely no doubt in my mind ke अगर डेंटिस्ट को पीआर नहीं मिलेगी तो किसको डेंटिस्ट को मिलेगी आई मीन नॉट टू से कि वी यू नो ट्रक ड्राइवर्स को मिल रही है एंड प्रेडी मच एवरीबॉडी वर्किंग इन रेस्टोरेंट्स यू नो एवरीबॉडी इज यू नो गेटिंग थ्रू सो बट आई वाज शोइंग बिकॉज़ आई आई थॉट दैट यू वर गोइंग टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टोरंटो और समथिंग बट ओंटारियो में ऐसा प्रोग्राम है कि जो लोग पीएचडी करते हैं और चाहे उनके पास जॉब है या नहीं अगर वो पीएचडी कर चुके हैं तो उनको डायरेक्टली उनको वो कर देते हैं और बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो इंडिया में जिनके पास मास्टर्स डिग्री है जैसे एम कॉम है या एम है या कुछ और कोई है तो मैं उनको अगर कह देता हूं कि भाई साहब आप पीएचडी कर लो प्लीज आप कर लो अरे छोड़ो यार क्या करेंगे इतना टाइम करके हमारे क्यों पैसा खराब करें और इतना टाइम लगे जल्दी सस्ते में जल्दी काम लेता हो एंड अल्टीमेटली दे विल सफर फॉर सम टाइम तो ऑफ कोर्स दे विल गेट ऑन इन टाइम पर अगर आप अगर कोई भी इंसान पी करना चाहता है और पी एच डी में उसका इंटरेस्ट है पी एच डी के लिए इतना थोड़ा सा पेशेंस है इन फ्यूचर उसको एकेडेमिक्स में जाना है वगैरह वगैरह 
So uh, Canada has a great, uh, you know, offer for PhD people. A great, great offer. Or unka unka visa bhi refuse nahi hota. Jo PhD karte hain, jo PhD mein admission lete hain, as compared to master's degree and other diploma and other things, PhD has a greater chances of. So anyway, so that's what it is. So I congratulate you one more time, Praveen, or aapko or aapki wife ko. Be uh, uh, work permit. Yes. Or uh, you have no children, I think, right? No, no children. Okay. So are you are going in the, in the month of uh, your courses starting in September or when is that? Or? Yes, it, it it is starting in September, sir. But because of uh, COVID-19 delays oh. um, and uh, I, I, have, I have already spoken with my professors. So I've asked for some extra time. So me most likely either by October or November I uh, would be landing there mm -hmm. in Canada. Yeah. So, so they're okay with it. Yeah. No, I'm sure. They, I'm sure they are. You know, for PhD students, they will they will uh, bend over backwards to accommodate you and and um, and take in uh, you know enough uh, uh, you know your your schedule will be quite flexible. Uh, they, they will not worry about it because you know. Okay. Yeah, bully. Ek, ek, uh, one uh, doubt I wanted to clarify, sir, uh, in your in your previous videos that I, I regularly, uh, I mean, 80 to 90 percent of your uh, videos I watch. Okay. Usme, uh, there were a few clarifications that I wanted to uh, sort of have a, a casual chat with you. Aapke previous customers, I think a few from Saudi or Dubai in one of the videos. I mean, uh, even they were mature uh, yeah, applicants, yeah. if I'm right. So they were, uh, they were in fact in in uh, when when they were talking to you, I remember they were suggesting that, for example, if they apply from Dubai, uh, and if let's say they are Indians, okay, if they are applying from Dubai, they should have enough bank balance or enough money to show in their uh, bank in Dubai and not in India. That's right. The same, I think the same case uh, even applies to Saudi. I have also maybe I think one or two applicants saying the same thing that if you are do if you do apply from Saudi as an Indian and if you're planning to go to Canada as a student, then make sure that you show enough funds in your uh, Saudi Arabian account. That's right. But uh, in my case, it's, it's it was it wasn't that it was the opposite. I I just had a bare balance, a bare basic balance in okay. my Malaysian account. But I also showed my Indian bank balance, which was substantial. So, yeah. yeah. Let me let, let me let me just let me just clarify some some more things here. I have to ask you some questions now, uh, if you if you don't mind. Yes. Uh, how much how much money did you show in your uh, Malaysian bank account in Malaysian ringgit and Indian currency equivalent? If you if you don't mind uh, my asking. If you, or you, if you don't want to answer, you, you can ignore it. But did you have substantial money in uh, in uh, Malaysia? I, I would not say a substantial, sir. Uh, I, I t at least with respect to my Malaysian account, it wasn't substantial. Maybe about uh, 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 barely enough for uh, maybe one one year or one and a half years of expenses or two years of expenses at the max. That's, that's enough. Look, uh, just to just to give you some input on, uh, typically to survive in Canada. Uh, we have a statistical chart on what what is what is considered poverty level and you know uh, above and and uh, you know so typically uh, on an average for two people to survive to live for living expenses you need close to twenty two thousand or around twenty three thousand dollars a year so close to two thousand two thousand dollars a year if you have this much amount of money uh, saved in your account let's say in Malaysian account or anywhere. So that is one thing as a visa officer I am looking at. That's one thing. Second, second, don't don't forget, uh, don't forget that if you are a PhD uh, uh, candidate, it is very likely that you will get some stipend, right? So this is a big difference from people who are applying for master's degree. So so as as you as you can see now that as a doctor when they write prescription medicine to patients, every prescription will work differently on patient to patient. The same medicine will not, uh, you know, cause the same effect. Uh, so my advice to them, you know, people who were going and those and those were the people who were going from bachelor's to master's degree. They were not going to PhD. That means they were taking their own money. But yes. in your in your case, uh, you are you will be making some money from Canada from the university where you go. 
And would you like to tell me if you if you don't mind how much money they will pay you every month for your uh, stipend from academic stipend? I think uh, per annum they uh, it was initially some sixteen thousand dollars per annum to start off with, yeah. and then they said once once we start off with the project, then we'll have ad- access to additional fund research grants from other organizations. And here and this is my answer. This is your answer to the to the original. Uh, assumption on the money should be in on should be in Malaysia or in India or somewhere else. You already will make close to sixteen thousand dollars minimum going forward. Even if you land in Canada with zero money, which is not, of course, you may have already paid your tuition and GIC and other expenses, and you have some money to carry. Fund funds is not a situation with PhD students, as you can see in your case. Because PhD students invariably will get some money from the department. They will employ you as a graduate assistant, uh, teaching to other students or doing some research work. And uh, $16,000 is bare minimum because, hey, dentistry is a very specialized area. Maybe they'll put you uh, put you to work with assisting some other practicing dentists in the, in the university hospital or something. Who knows? And you will likely end up making more money. Don't forget, your wife also has a work permit. Uh, you know, even though she is not a full dentist in Canada, she will very likely, very likely uh, find employment as a dental assistant or then uh, assisting some other uh, practicing dentist. You know that their salary is I mean, I, I, I don't want to even guess their salary is close to twenty five dollars or thirty dollars per hour. You know, you're looking at, you know, license, you know, trained dental assistants and dental hygiene assistants. So. Uh, as you can see, the husband-wife total, uh, the fund situation and the income situation is very, very positive and very favorable. So as a visa officer sitting in Singapore, uh, I'm not worried about whether you have money or not. I mean, you will make money from day one in Canada. So this is my answer to your question on how does the fund situation compare with Saudi and Middle East and other other people. Uh, is that is that distinction clear? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's fine because when I uh, went through those videos, I was a little anxious about you know funds because I was also showing my Indian bank statements. But kya kya na? I mean, one thing is right, sir. For example, uh, in your previous videos or the other videos that I was seeing, the spotlight was always on funds. Yeah. So I made sure that under the client information. I the first page of the client information I put out uh, an index in the contents page, so I showed I, I I put in all the information pertaining to my professional background. For example, if it's funds, the source of funds, from where exactly the funds are coming in, my employment history, then how the funds are being transferred from Malaysian account back to Indian accounts. So the entire flow yeah. of funds was demonstrated to the visa officer, so that. They have absolutely no doubt that these funds are mine. That's right. वो वो अच्छी बात है क्योंकि आप आप बड़े सुलझे हुए हो आप आप डॉक्टर हो आपको पता है कैसे करना है कई कई बार गलती हम लोग से ये हो जाती है स्पेशली इंडिया में जो रहते हैं जो जो क्लाइंट अप्लाई करते हैं स्टडी वीजा में गलती ये हो जाती है कि हमारे पास अगर कभी पैसे नहीं होते तो हम किसी और से पैसे ले लेते हैं अपने मदर फादर ससुराल से या वट एवर यू नो कहीं से ले लेते हैं और वी हैव बिग डिपॉजिट इन अकाउंट किसी से पांच लाख दे रही है किसी दो लाख इकट्ठे डिपॉजिट कर दिए और हमारी तनख्वाह तो हार्डली मे बी फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज या फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज है सो वेन वेन वी सी अ बिग लार्ज डिपॉजिट इन अ बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन हिस्ट्री दैट इज अ कॉज ऑफ ग्रेट कंसर्न एंड रेड फ्लाई कि भाई इसके पास इतने पैसे आए कहाँ से उसके लिए जैसे आपने किया है या तो अच्छी तरह समझाओ उसके कि पैसे किसने दिए क्यों दिए कब दिए उसका कोई चेक दिखाओ कोई रिसीव दिखाओ कोई एफिडेविट लगाओ या और बताओ कि भाई ये पैसे one time the answer to the loan hame wapas karne hai because they want to understand whether you are financially solvent or not if you are not then you know you don't qualify for the study visa and, and that's what it is so yes. as you can as you can see each situation is different each each uh, visa situation is uniquely different i i cannot i cannot uh, copy and paste one advice from one video to another i mean every every client has a unique different situation and people sometimes wonder कि भाई इसमें क्या खास बात है हम उससे कहते हैं अगर खास बात नहीं तो वीजा आप ले लो आ जाओ फिर वीजा अभी आपको मिला मिला क्यों नहीं अभी तक तो मतलब कोई ना कोई बात है ना देर सम देर सम वीकनेस डेट वी हैव टू वी फिक्स एंड सोल्यूशन फॉर एंड देन दैट्स द वे टू गो फॉरवर्ड बट ऑल इज वेल दैट एंड वेल्स एंड 
I wanted to appreciate again your, um, uh, you know, your uh, your input in, uh, you know, how you did this on your own. And as I as I said earlier, that you are my my um, the ideal ideal client because you are sophisticated, you are smart, you can do your homework, you have all the rows uh, in, uh, you know, like sorry, you know, the, the, all the ducks in the row, everything is right there, you know, click click click, everything is right on the folder wise. And uh, you are ready to go, and I have no doubt in my mind that you will be a successful uh, professional in in Canada, wherever you are. And uh, I wish you best of luck, and to you and your wife. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, but what? having said that, uh, I mean, uh, yes, I did it on my own. Uh, there is no doubt, but. Um, I have to acknowledge your indirect contribution, sir. I mean, uh, for for an initial few minutes, I thought, okay, ये सब कुछ मैंने किया है. It's it's all my effort. But no, it's it's because I've got input from you guys, uh, looking at your YouTube channels, even other other guys as well, wherein I could pick up a lot of information about you know how do I prove my relationship, how do I prove my funds, etc. So. I was steadily solidifying each aspect of those. So indirectly, you, you, your videos, your discussion with other uh, other applicants immensely helped me, and I have to accept that fact because uh, I, I, I did not get up early in the morning and say, okay, I know everything about Canadian student visa uh, visa application. But oh, that doesn't happen, right, sir? Even no matter, even I, even if I've done my research on IRCC website, जो भी है, but I, I have to go on record that, especially with re, uh, with regard to proving your relationship, I took a substantial number of points from your previous videos, and I'm sure you you know what sort of videos you had uploaded in the past. Yeah, so, yeah. Usme pure sun ke, I made down points what what are the documents that I need to furnish to establish my relationship with my spouse. Mm -hmm. So had I not seen your videos, maybe I would have been 50% uh, uncooked, probably. So I would uh, I would definitely even yes, you've not handled my application, you've not applied on my behalf, but jo bhi maine aap, aapke video se suna hai, it, it has immensely helped me, and I should acknowledge that fact, sir. If I don't acknowledge that, then I, then I am not doing justice because I should not be taking all the credit. As I hope, no, I mean anybody on my behalf, uh, they can't claim that they have done 100% research on their side. Obviously, you have to bank on some databases to get all the information. So, aapka, especially I would say proof of relationship, bahut helped kiya hai mujhe, lot. It has helped me significantly. And the kind of documents that I've furnished, the moment I'm sure any visa officer uh, goes through that, he would say, okay, no questions asked. He would not even turn back the second time. Proof of proof of relationship, because our workload, our inventory of applications, we have marriage cases in which we have a spouse factor, how is the spouse, there are a lot of factors there. तो डेफिनेटली आपको उसका जरूर फायदा होगा और बाकी ऐसा है डॉक्टर प्रवीण ये सब बातें जो है ना इस लाइक मैं कभी मैं कहता हूं तो लोग मेरे से कहते हैं कि जब लगना ही था वीजा तो आपने पैसे क्यों दिए ये बहाना होता है कि आपका वीजा लगना था आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स तैयार थे आप मेरे पास आए आपने पैसे दिए थोड़ा सा हल्का सा एक चलती गाड़ी को एक मोशन को पुश लग गया और वीजा मिल गया और आपको जाना ही था दाना पानी आपका है कनाडा में वेरी सून यू विल बी इन कनाडा और यू नो जस्ट लिटिल लिटिल ऑफ यू नो नॉट कंप्लीट लाइक अ टी वर्ड तो कहीं से दो लोग जो आए कोई यहां से आया कोई वहां से आया वीजा लग गया खटाक कहां से कनाडा पहुंचे और यू नो इट विल चेंज योर लाइफ फॉर द फ्यूचर बिकॉज़ वेरी सून यू विल स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग टू बिकम अ डेंटिस्ट ऑन योर ओन and uh, you get a substantially good job dentists make a lot of money in canada more than the general physicians everywhere even america also so you are on the great path to prosperity plus aapke abhi koi baby nahi hai koi bachcha nahi hai aur uski kismat se aap jo aap jaoge aage aapki family badhegi so it's a very auspicious time for you to start this journey thank you sir theek okay. hai thank you thank you praveen i'll uh, Talk to you next time when you are in Canada. So I will expect a call from you. Maybe when you reach, you can tell me. Yes, sir. Just one one last question before we sign off. Uh, 
I've heard a lot about uh, IRCC uh, finalizing applications only after they receive biometrics. But in my case, for, they haven't obtained my biometrics because VFS centers here in KL, I mean, they have been closed for quite some time. So for my first question is, how did they grant me an approval without biometrics? And the second question is, when am I supposed to deposit my biometrics? Well, let's let's look at these questions separately. So I do not know the answer to this question. Uh, sometimes it's not just you. I have seen other other people also. People, especially who have had uh, great travel history, maybe they are working and living in a different country, which is more developed than India. They have sort of not waived, uh, not waived, but they have not waited for the biometric itself. Why they have? It's it's something that the mystery they can tell. But uh, if they have given you uh, the the application uh, finalized without the biometrics, so uh, the 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 only purpose of biometrics is to is to determine admissibility, whether you have a police record or criminal record or previous travel history, something that they want to check with you uh, in different countries, and that's the purpose of the biometrics. If they have not uh, uh, found anything wrong in your background, in your declaration or address history or education history, travel history, and blah blah, all those history. Maybe they are forget about biometrics. You know, maybe they want to get you to Canada faster without, you know, uh, getting into the line for getting those, uh, you know, waiting line or something. So that's my answer to that question. The second question, what you said was that when do I expect to do the biometrics? If you get the study visa stamp, look, uh, your passport is already submitted to the Canadian Embassy, right? And if you get your, uh, uh, you know, stamp, you know, if you get the actual visa and the passport, there's no stopping you. You can fly next day. If you may, uh, you just just follow the rules, just follow the documents, and then you are you are on your way. Uh, if there's a travel authorization required, then if they will tell you whether you have to apply or not. Uh, but hey, students are coming, and if you're coming from Malaysia, there's I don't think there's any problem of direct flights uh, to coming to Canada. Direct flights are hampered from uh, from India. India. So uh, so that's it. Forget about the biometrics. Okay. If they ask you, I mean. Just because you don't have a biometrics, I don't think uh, they have a right to stop you anywhere in, in in the transit, anywhere, even if you reach Canada. So, hey, you don't have biometrics? Yes, I don't have biometrics because you never asked for one. So that's fine. I don't have biometrics. And that's it. So uh, that's the answer to my both the questions. OK. OK, sir. Fair enough. All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Praveen. All right, sir. Hope Thank you, sir. See, please do see, see you sometimes in, uh, in, in Canada. Same here, sir. Take care. Hello, sir. Bye, Thank sir. Right.